Welcome back to Snow Recaps. Today I will be explaining a movie called Don't Breathe, released in the year 2016. Three Detroit friends, Rocky, Alex, and Money, break into the home of wealthy owners. After Alex disables the security system, they begin to grab the nicest looking items they can get their hands on. When they're done, they throw a rock through the plate glass door and run. Rocky lives with her little sister Diddy and their abusive mother Ginger and her boyfriend Trevor. Rocky promises to Diddy that she will get both of them out of there so they can start a new life in California. Alex lives with his father, an active policeman who is never home and is apparently pulling double shifts at the local police station. Alex uses his father's computer connections to look for wealthy people to rob. Money gets a tip from one of his connects about a man living in a house with more than $300,000 in cash stashed somewhere. It's been said that the man is a war veteran and that he lives alone after his daughter was killed in a car accident. Rocky is on board since this could be the last robbery they ever have to pull off, but Alex doesn't agree with the plan. He later relents when Rocky begs him as he has a crush on her, even though she's with money. The three stalk the man's house, which is located in a slum neighborhood and is the only occupied house on the street since every other house is condemned and learn that he is blind. Alex thinks it's messed up to rob a blind guy, but Money says it doesn't mean he's a saint if he's blind. The man's vicious Rottweiler dog then jumps on the car door and frightens the friends. That night, the three initiate the robbery. Alex spots a tattoo on Rocky's wrist that's new, which is of a ladybug. She explains that as a child, her father left her family and her mother blamed Rocky for it. She would cry and then get locked in the trunk. One time, a ladybug flew into the trunk and kept her company. She says she'll have it colored in California and then never mark her body again. The friends head toward the man's house. Money drugs the dog to get him to knock out, allowing them a safe entry into the house. Rocky goes in first through a small bathroom window and disables the security system. While her friends wait for her, Money taunts Alex for his crush on Rocky. She returns and opens the back door. Money goes upstairs and finds the blind man sleeping with the TV on. The blind man rises and hears a noise. He just turns the TV off and goes back to sleep. Money gasses the room to ensure that the man won't hear anything. The three find a locked door that leads to the basement. They think this is where they'll find the man's stash. Money starts to break down the door, leading the blind man to go downstairs. Money starts talking and says he doesn't want trouble until he decides to pull a gun out on the man. The blind man takes a few steps forward as Money holds the gun in his face. As he slowly gets closer, the man grabs the gun from Money's hand and pins him against the wall. The blind man asks Money how many of them there are in the house. Money says it's just him and he pleads for the man to let him go. The blind man loosens his grip, but then shoots Money in the neck and through the head. He drops Money's body to the floor and Rocky hides in the closet. The man enters and opens a safe containing his money. Rocky sees the code 2978 as he leaves. Alex goes to find Rocky after the blind man starts locking up all the doors and windows. They decide that they just have to sneak in through the basement and out the cellar door that leads outside. First, Rocky opens the safe and puts all the money in her bag. They head toward the basement, but the man emerges from there. The two keep quiet as he holds Money's gun. Someone's phone goes off, and he fires a quick shot. Rocky and Alex then head downstairs as the man drags Money's body outside. In the basement, Rocky is startled by a woman who's been chained up to the wall. Rocky and Alex are freaked out and almost leave her until the woman holds up a newspaper article. It reveals that her name is Cindy and that she's the woman who accidentally killed the blind man's daughter, but she was acquitted. Rocky and Alex free her and carry her toward the cellar door. Unfortunately, the blind man is there when they open it. He fires the gun and strikes Cindy in the face, killing her. Rocky and Alex hide, and the man finds out he shot Cindy. He cries over her body and yells in rage. Alex picks up the man's keys and decides to try and make it back to the front door. As he and Rocky head back upstairs, the blind man turns off the lights in the basement, leaving them all in total darkness. Rocky and Alex feel around for each other as the man shoots the gun. Rocky almost touches the blind man until Alex calls her name. The blind man catches Alex and tries to shoot, but his gun is empty. Alex pushes a shelf down on him, trapping him. 
he and Rocky run upstairs, outside of the basement. The Rottweiler, who is now fully awake, is waiting for them. The dog chases after them on the second floor and corners them in one of the rooms. The windows there are barred and it seems that they have no way to escape. Meanwhile, the blind man catches up to them and is outside of the room with his dog and a gun. Rocky and Alex try to find a way to escape when she sees a vent on the wall. He tells her to go trough it and that he will keep the door safe. As she enters the vent, the old man and the dog break trough the doors and attack Alex. He falls trough the window onto a selling window, one level down. Back at the room, the dog follows Rocky in the vent by her smell and chases after her. Trough the shaft. She jumps into a vertical shaft to escape it. The blind man realizes where Alex is and shoots the window, hurling him down on the first floor. Alex runs again, but he catches up to him in the room where he keeps his gardening tools and where he had stashed Money's body. He beats Alex unconscious and stabs him with giant gardening scissors. Rocky wakes up in the shaft, hurt and in pain. She starts crawling trough the vents again when she spots two openings, one going down in the house and the other outside the house. As she tries to break trough the bars at the opening leading outside of the house, the vet grabs her from the other one. Rocky wakes up in the basement. She's tied up the same way as the other girl was. The blind man is there and she begs him to let her go saying she won't tell anyone about the girl. He explains, however, that holding the girl in the basement wasn't about torture or punishment for what she had done to his daughter. It was his crazy idea that, since she took his child from him, it would only be fair she should give him a child in return. He'd been holding her there because she was pregnant with his baby. With his insane logic, he comes to the conclusion that Rocky is to blame for her death and she should be held accountable. In the meantime, Alex wakes up the blind man hadn't stabbed him, but Money's body. He tricks the dog into the room and locks it in. Then, he unlocks the front door. Back in the basement, the blind man is heating something up. He tells Rocky that she would now have to bear his child in the girl's stead. But since he's not a rapist, he wouldn't force himself on her. Just his sperm. It's revealed that he was heating up his sperm, so he could inject it in her. Fortunately, Alex bursts into the basement at the right moment and the blind man is unable to do what he wanted to do to Rocky. Alex chains the vet up and releases Rocky, who kicks the heck out of the old man. Among other things, Alex tells Rocky that calling the police now is out of the question, that they should just leave him chained up in the basement. The two of them take the money and leave the basement, going to the front door. The moment Alex opens the door, he gets shot by the blind man, who succeeded in breaking free. It's already daylight outside, as Rocky starts to run. The blind man sends his Rottweiler after her. After a long chase, she finally gets to Money's car, but when the dog catches up to her, she drops the bag with the money outside. Moreover, once in the car she realizes that she doesn't have the key. Rocky traps the dog inside the car in a clever way, but as soon as she is out and grabs the bag, the blind man grabs her again and starts pulling her toward his house by her hair. When they get there, Rocky finds the remote for the alarm and activates it. The sound completely disorients the blind man and she manages to push him down in the basement. Thinking that he's dead, she grabs the money and runs as the police is pulling over to the house. Rocky is sitting with her little sister in the bar of an airport. She hears the news on the bar TV with the news anchor talking about what had happened. The blind man had survived the fall. However, he didn't mention the fact that she was involved in the robbery as well or that the money was missing. Rocky is free to live her best life with her sister in California. Maybe 